often believe that when our beloved pets cross the rainbow bridge, that they are gone forever, but that is not true. They are immortal souls just as we are immortal souls, and they are still accessible through frequencies, even if they are not in their bodies anymore. So the trick is to learn how to access those frequencies, and from there, a whole new level of communication and connection begins. So let's learn how to do that. You can totally learn how to be your own pet medium. In fact, communicating with deceased pets is not hard to do if you understand the techniques. So in this video, I'm going to share three very powerful techniques that you can use. The third one's actually a chapter out of uh, mediumship, the mediumship training manual, but you don't have to be a medium to do this. You just have to open your heart and open your mind and learn how to be present. So hi, this is Adam of the Medium Channel where we teach you the spirituality behind the message to help you to awaken. And I can't think of a better way to awaken than to understand the vibration of pets, both in the living as well as on the other side. So if you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. And now, first and foremost, you've got to quiet your mind, practice your meditation, do presence exercises daily. Every time you think about it, just stop your thoughts and just be aware of your breath and your surroundings. Just make that a habit. The more you do it, the more open you're going to be to the subtle vibrations of spirit. That is a secret unto itself. The next thing you may want to do is learn either heart brain coherence or similar exercise. Our pets exist in the heart frequency and they teach us how to love because they are unconditional love. So if you want to get closer to your pet's living or on the other side, open your heart. And you can do that by consciously sitting in presence and consciously raising the frequency of your heart to a high level of compassion, appreciation, and love and feel that expand in your body. And when you do that, your brain waves become coherent and then you connect more with spirit. So these are, are two important prerequisites before we dive into the techniques. So when you are ready to begin, the first thing you do is set your intentions. Be very clear in your mind and your heart which pet you're going to communicate with and feel like that pet is already here. The stronger you set the intentions and the stronger you feel the communication is already happening, the stronger the communication will be, the stronger the link you're going to establish to your pet on the other side. And as you are doing this, trust what you get. Don't force it. Let it come to you. But trust everything that comes to you and understand that, that pets communicate primarily through feeling. So the first thing you want to do is open up your feelings. What are you feeling energetically, emotionally as you're making that link? And then from there, be open and more distinct messages will start to flow. If you're enjoying this video and enjoying what we share on this channel, please feel free to subscribe. And if you hit the bell notification, then you won't miss when I do free live events. So the first techniques, and understand that all of these techniques are really about align your vibration and learning how to match the frequency of the vibration of your pet. When you start to create a vibrational match, that's when you're able to cross the barrier between the different dimensions and communicate with your loved ones on the other side, including your pets. So the first technique is to use a candle and to maybe either have a picture of your, your pet, your dog or your cat or bird or whatever, under the candle or have her name inscribed or inscribe the name in the candle. Set the intention that as you work with this candle, it's going to allow you to have a pathway to the soul or spirit of the animal. And then when you light the candle, gaze into the flame and imagine that you and your pet are together in the flame and see what comes to you. See what messages your pets have for you. Sometimes your deceased pets will come to you just to let you know they're okay and to provide, provide you with that comfort that they're still around you. But sometimes I'll even have messages about your life. So that's number one. The second technique is to make yourself a little vision board. Again, sometimes just having pictures or things that remind you of your pet are going to help you to vibrationally link closer to your pet. So just have a, a bunch of photos or, 
or fun things around your pet and make a little vision board or, or, or maybe something on your computer or, or phone if you like to do it that way. And then just gaze at that and really start to feel your pet and communicate that way. And the third technique is that start to, you, you can actually augment this with pictures, but the idea is to get really present and just start to maybe remember some time where you were holding your pet or playing with her or him or doing really cool things, but really start to feel like you're cuddling with your pet. You can smell what your pet smells like. You can feel the soft fur. You can see their beautiful eyes. Um, and just really get into that. And by doing that, allow your heart to start to blend energetically. So in other words, as you're feeling and imagining you're playing with your pet, start to feel your energies blend so you're almost becoming one being. This is called blending with the spirit. It's a very powerful tool in, in mediumship. And once you do that, then you'll, you will be accessing your pet and then ask what message did you have and always trust what you get. What do you feel? And maybe uh, you get images in your mind or, or you, you get uh, ideas or, or you remember things. Or, um, or you get numbers. There's a lot of ways they communicate, be open. But the, the technique here is to really blend and really allow yourself to become one and really feel that that pet energy and your energy have become one in that moment. And from there, you're going to get a lot of intuitive information. They're going to share a lot with you with their life on the other side, their life together with you in the living. It's a beautiful connection. So this is what I have for you. And if you want to find out if your deceased pets are around you, I have a video on the 11 top signs that your deceased pet is with you or your deceased pets are with you. So check that out. And I love you and I'll see you at the next video. Namaste and aloha.